un, dos, y un, dos, tres, y... Bueno, sí. But it's finally here. I'm not gonna keep you waiting any longer. This is just gonna be me trying on a bunch of stuff that I've thrifted because I'm addicted to thrifting and I can't stop. Although I'm trying to be a little bit more selective now and I'm trying to be picky, but I'm just so good at it. Like I just constantly find super cool stuff. And it's just so worthy of being in my closet because you already know I like to have every kind of vibe. Grandma vibe, art teacher vibe. Kindergarten teacher vibe, 60s, 70s, 90s, Y2K, literally every decade except skipping the 80s. 80s is not really my vibe. But so it's just so hard to say no to things when I'm just so good at finding super good stuff. You know what I mean? So I feel like this is all worthy. I keep looking this way because I have the pile of clothes I'm about to try on over here. It's all very worthy of showing you guys, so I'm excited to try it on for you. I'm not in Texas anymore, even though Almost everything that I am going to try on is from Texas, but I'm in my new apartment now in New York. So exciting. Now I have a really nice space to film because I have no money for furniture. Literally just had money for this blow up alien that I'm going to be using for Halloween. So she'll be joining us today. I'm going to go into the voiceover version of myself so that I can listen to Taylor Swift's new album, which I absolutely love. I used to not be a Swifty and now I'm obsessed but that's a topic for another video. Just like last time, nothing is gonna be styled. There might be some accidental outfits that work together. This is more of a thrift haul slash try on haul. I just wanna show you everything that I've gotten recently because I've been inside for the past two weeks and I've been wearing just a t-shirt and these shorts. So I haven't really gotten to wear most of these things. Okay, let's get into it, starting strong. Hello. Okay, so I got this jean Y2K top at Goodwill in Texas. The little flappy things on the straps and on the bottom really give it this fairy energy. Like if I needed to dress up as a Y2K tooth fairy one day, I would wear this. I feel like this would look best with my hair up to really show off the crisscross back, which is so hot. And that's just consistent in a lot of the clothes that I'm showing you today. So you're welcome. I hadn't realized that I didn't tie the back, so I'm sure it's more flattering once it's tied, but we don't have time for that when we film these all by ourselves. Last time I had my mom helping me. <laughs> I miss you, mom. I got this one in Uvalde at an antique store with my grandparents, actually. The lady who ran the store was the most wholesome lady ever, and she got along with my grandparents so well that she gave us discounts and free stuff. This necklace just needs the perfect styling, and I haven't really figured it out yet. I just don't want to look like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> I think my mom got this for me at a consignment store. It's the nicest silk material ever. The only problem with this is that the buttons pop open really easily. So I need to be, I guess, like in a chill mood when I wear this because I reenact stories with my whole body when I have combos with people and the nip slip would just not be okay on this one. Funny story, I actually wore this under my graduation gown for the graduation at Radio City. And when I went on stage representing my program to grab the diploma, this shirt was fully popped open. <laughs> so my nips were just fully out under my gown. It was kind of like that nightmare feeling of literally being naked, waving at a huge crowd, except you feel it and no one else can see it. So very odd experience. <laughs> This is the first time that I try this one on outside of the store and I like it a lot more than I remember. It just feels like a shirt that's really made well and I love the subtle puff sleeves. This should be easy to style because it's so versatile and I think it can go with jean or suede. Make sure you click the like button by the way if you're enjoying this video so far. Also make sure you're subscribed so you can join a community of literally the cutest and coolest people on earth. 
My body is being squeezed currently. I'm pretty sure this is like an Amazon corset that someone donated because they didn't like it, but I like it. And I think it'll be cool on top of a dress. These boots. I thrifted a long time ago, but I busted them out now because now it's fall. I technically have these in black too. I don't know how I've gotten so lucky to be honest. I actually have multiple versions of this square toe boot and I'm proud of it because I've thrifted all of them in super good condition too. I think I wanna crop this tank because I've tried wearing this long tank top with jeans and it just makes me look shorter and I don't like it. But I also don't want it to have a cut seam at the bottom. Sometimes that just doesn't look good. You get me and like, I have so many shirts that I just crop with scissors. Anyway, I love that this adds more neutral to my closet and it's still interesting. We hate to love this kind of v-neck. Like, why is it kind of so good? It is giving a Y2K mother buying groceries energy that I love so much. It's an easy shirt to wear for casual stuff and it's also just so flattering. Guess popped off. This skirt? I have been waiting to show y'all. I went to the OG warehouse that I go to with my mom and we were leaving kind of defeated because we didn't find much. And this was on the floor, all crusty and dusty. Can you believe that? The tractor behind me was literally about to pick it up to take it to the landfill. And I swooped in and saved her. When I wore it last week, everyone was asking me if I made it and I was so sad to say no. Like, I seriously wish I did. Whoever made this, thank you for this creation. And I hope I get to meet you one day because you're probably as cool as a skirt. I don't say this that much, but this is one of my most proud thrift finds ever. It's going up there, top five for sure. This is the hottest top that I own for sure. The fact that it's like not overdoing it, but it's fully backless. It's tricking you into thinking that I'm professional in the front and then there's a party in the back. It doesn't get better than this. This is actually me peaking in this moment. Shout out to my friend Fed and Taurus Thrift. Go follow them on Instagram at Taurus Thrift. I bought this from there and I felt so confident when I wore it on a night out. So thank you so much, Fed. I love you. Got this one in Uvalde too. And the lady at the register told me that this purse was really popular in the 60s and that it's an authentic 60s purse. I found this exact same purse on an auction website I was looking through last week and the description said it was a purse from the 60s. So it's confirmed. So crazy too how I came across the same vintage purse twice, one from Texas and one from a home in Connecticut. I got these at a Converse outlet. My friend actually told me about a huge sale that they were having and I got them for $23 new. I was so in need of shoes like this to wear in the snow because I've always walked down the slippery, snowy sidewalks here just in tennies and I don't know how many times I've fallen on my butt, so it's just time for a change. I got this at the Goodwill bins in Queens. I didn't have super good luck there, but Emma Chamberlain said everyone needs to have at least one cashmere sweater and we all just do what she says. So I snatched this up when I found it. And she was right, it's actually so comfy. My bad that this is so wrinkled. I did my laundry and then just didn't fold it for three days. Now it does fit me a little small. Um, This is the first time that I try it on, but we're just gonna make it work. It's not horribly small. And this just adds to my Western feel wardrobe, to my Texan identity. It was really the pocket detail that sold me here. I can picture this with a long skirt and brown boots, the ones from earlier, or some brown lacy Doc Martens with the low saggy purse and like an effortless updo that was actually so effortful, but you just make it look like it was effortless. 
This is just a good old classic black jean vest that will just go with everything. I have too many crazy vests, so this will be good for combining with a printed long sleeve top. Yeah, I got these for about a dollar and they're actual snow boots and I love them. They're just gonna look so good with everything. Think about it. With straight cut or flared pants that just go all the way to the floor, with a midi skirt, with mini shorts or a mini skirt. Like, yes. I hope I get to get good use out of these because they're actually so comfortable and winter is on her way even if we don't want it to happen. Such a good vest. Yay, another one to add to my crazy vest collection. The print and the colors are absolutely beautiful. It's just one of those pieces that makes you feel like you're wearing art, but also makes you look like a kindergarten art teacher. One of my favorite vibes. I'm usually nicer with my approach, but um, Make sure that you're subscribed and like this video to help support me and my channel. Comment your favorite thrift find as always. Turn on your notifications to stay in the loop. And I will see you next time.